Hello friends, how are we all doing? Welcome to uh, another shaving environment. Uh, I'm not shaving in the bathroom, uh, I'm actually in the main room of my hotel at the moment. I'm in a place called Handidno in North Wales. Up on the coast here, it's a rainy drizzly day, it's grey. I've got a day off, nothing to do, so I'm going to do a shave. Now, I was shaving with the Pearl Flexi, which I have on loan from Mark Hutchinson, kindly. And I was shaving with this for the week. I found it on the higher settings, very, very comfortable indeed. I shaved with it regularly on the lower settings and I found it savaged me. It gave me irritation. I found it uncomfortable. Uh, so that was the Pearl Flexi. I found it good on the higher settings, but I did... I tell you, it just it just didn't feel right when I was using the lower settings. It, it, it just didn't suit me. And I've also done a week shaving with the Rex Ambassador. Also on loan. This is on loan from CB Shaves. Thank you very much, Chris. So there's the two razors together. Indian, American. Americans and Indians. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians. Okay, so there's the two razors together. Rex is in the right, Pearl's in the left. Now, obviously, this has got a high price tag. It's made of stainless steel. It's quality built. But also, this, it's, I think it was £60. It comes with blades and a stand included. Obviously, it's not stainless steel. But uh, <laughs> it does feel like quality. It does feel like quality. Can't knock it. Can't knock it. So what I'm going to do today is, it's not a battle between razors, because they're both great razors. It's just... Uh, to see what I prefer, basically. Will I buy the Pearl? Will I buy a Rex? So starting off on set and six on both razors. I don't know if you can make that out. And the red dot on the Rex is a little tricky to see because it's actually on top of the adjusting nut. Now, I have to say before I start, now I've, I've said it before, blade gaff doesn't mean anything. It's all down to the blade profile. Uh, that type of thing, the engineering of the razor. But I have looked at the blade gaps on both the Rex and the Pearl. Now, if I put the set the Pearl to setting six, the Rex has a far greater blade gap. In fact, you have to wind the Rex down to setting three to match the amount of blade gap in the Pearl Flexi. But that's by the by. That's just that's just one of my findings. Okay, so I've got a bowl in front of me. I'm using a brand new Jet Perma Sharp in both razors. And as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm using the new Solo from the Good Fella Smile Vegetal Based Soap. It's based on Chanel Egoist. It's the new AJ1 formula and it's got argan oil, jojoba oil, pure coconut oil, pure sweet almond oil. Glycerin free, so it does require a lot of water. I've already bowl of it simply because it's easier because I'm not using a sink here. I've just got a bowl for rinsing and I still have it in the bowl. That smells classy fellas, it really it does smell classy. The new AJ1 formula it even comes in a bio pot. That's nice. So it, it, it did take a lot of water also. It was, uh, I have dome shaved of it. And the residual slickness certainly was there with a dome shave. Just building up a little bit more lava here on the face. Even though I have already bowl lavered, why am I doing this? Because I can. Because I want to. Because I like it. Anyway, how are you all doing? It is Monday today. The day after the uh, Euros final England Italy I'm using an Italian soap I know I'm sorry sorry fellas <laughs> how 
Oh well, we'll keep it anyway. We gone okay so far, hopefully. Little towel, little tiny face towel, and we shall start. Okay, the Rex in the right hand. I'm not including the neck in this comparison because everybody's neck, their hair pattern, the swirls, the directions, the grains, they change on I think 90% of men's necks. It's There's no symmetry there whatsoever. So to actually compare two razors on a neck, I find is, it's unfair. So I'll just do it on the main bits. Right, I've got to look around my camera here. <laughs> I'm quite far from the mirror. Now, although there's a heck of a blade gap on his set and six, on the Rex, it is extremely smooth. And the perma shop's whacking down that moustache. Oh! Nearly crossed over to the pearl side. You ever done that when you've done a comparison? Have you ever done a comparison shave? It's so easy to forget. And of course, you can never do a true comparison shave because it's the amount of strokes, uh, every, everything would have to be identical, which must be nigh on impossible. And that's doing well. It really is doing a cracking job. Found out I'm back in South Wales next week. North Wales this week, back to South Wales next week. Back to the town of Denby with flash boredom that is one and only boat trip <laughs> and he was ill ill from what I can make out I don't think he liked it okay that's the right hand side done now for the pearl much heavier the pearl a much heavier razor a different piece completely Now straight away, I can tell that the pearl isn't as smooth as the Rex. Definitely not on the moustache. <laughs> Remember, we've got two identical blades. Definitely not as smooth. But there again, these blade gaps are different, so I'm just doing six and one six on the other. But what more can you do, really? It's not a science. It's just my findings. Would I prefer to buy the Rex or the Pearl? That's what I'm doing. Now, I'm not saying that the Pearl's rough, but it's definitely not as smooth. I would be pleased, happy to shave with this every day, if this is what I had. Okay, still going with the grain. I won't be going too low on the setting, simply because I never do. The only time I did go low on the both razors, again, it was just test driving them. Giving them, a, giving them a run out, an outing. Now, I think that the residual slickness on this good fellow's smile, even though it's glycerin free, is vastly improved on past good fellow's smile soaps. It's a nice scent. It's uh, 
especially the aftershave splash it's it, like most good fellow smile scents the amber fougere being one of my favorites those splashes you smell them and they remind you of something that costs hundreds of pounds a bottle they do they remind you of real expensive scents cracking scents brilliant Right, bad hands and go for a cross. Now then, before I reel over with my mush, I should have got the settings down. Look at this soapy specs. Can't even find the razors. <laughs> okay, so we're currently on setting six. I'm gonna crank down to five for across the grain. The adjuster on the Rex is easier to manoeuvre also with wet hands. That will be down to the superior knurling and engineering of course. Can't have everything. Delightful. Nice. Really good. Really good. Okay, cross the grain. So, was on that yet? I can't remember. Think, 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 think. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Uh, that's it. thinking about using two razors at once. It's not as easy as you think if you've never done it. So, trying to coordinate yourself. Top dollar, top dollar. So what's the weather like where you are? It's, uh, I don't know, the mountains are over there, the clouds are right over the uh, mountain peaks. This morning it was the way I was trying to have a lion. Now that feels very smooth across the grain on setting five. Hell of a difference. That feels as smooth as the Rex did. Maybe even a tad smoother. Yeah, so I was trying to have a lion this morning. As I got no work to do. And uh would have been about eight o'clock this morning, it was bang, 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 bang. Real loud knocking on my window. And I thought, uh Someone's knocking on my window. I just woke up like out of slumber. Somebody's knocking on my window. I thought the cheeky sods, so it'll be people mucking around. Well, for those that don't know, I'm in a hotel, by the way. I thought somebody's mucking around. And I thought, hang on a minute, I'm on the third floor. How can somebody be mucking around? Throws the curtain back. It's been a seagull about that big. Boo, boo, boo. Knocking on the window with his beak after feeding, so uh, <laughs> it was a weird feeling when I suddenly realised I'm on the third floor. Why would somebody be knocking on my window? Feels great, it really does. Okay, knock it down one more for against the grain, and I will go down to number four on both razors. And see how we crack on there. Yeah, that's where I'm finding the Rex easier. The adjusting during the shave, much easier to hold, easier to turn that adjusting knob. But uh, look at the difference of the knurling. This is, you can feel the sharpness of the knurling on this. 
you can't so much with this because it's it's uh, it's not that deep it's not that deep an L that's if you can call it an L so they're wound down a little bit more moisture spread the slickness but hopefully what's going to be the final pass whoops Get a little bit of sting off the soap here. I don't think it's a problem with the soap, it's just... Well, I didn't have any stings on my head from it. Just gonna try and put a little bit more water into the soap. Good brush this. Sorry if this is going on for a bit. Only took about a 35 second load on this fellas as well. This fellas, this good fellas smiled so. It's only about a 30, 35 second load. But look at that, I'm on pass free. I just rehydrated, rehydrated slightly. Look at that. And you're looking at about £21 for the set, the soap and the splash. It's worth £21 of anybody's money. Spending too long lathering, James. Right. As I said earlier, it's just I'm just seeing what I find to be the most comfortable of the two razors. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who disagree, but that's how subjective this uh, traditional shaving is. Against the grain on a moustache. Easy peasy. Did I nearly catch myself on? It's a problem having such a bulbous chin. There's so many nooks and crannies for that blade to get jammed on. I don't think I did. I nearly did. Okay. EBS. EBS. Back to the Pearl Plexi. Oh, hang on, spoke too soon. Gotta ride the cap a little. Riding on the slickness. Feels okay. I think the uh, British people are dying to get back to uh, a broader holiday. You know, they're all coming to places like this in the UK to get here, and the weather's crap, dismal. That's gone against the moustache easier than the Rex did. Why is it? Oh, they got a wee bit there. A 
smooth. Right, I'm just gonna nip in that room for a second. You know what I'm gonna do, rinse. I'm back. Now I've got a little bit of a sting on that rinse. Hmm. On the neck. Findings. The findings, the all important findings. Soap. Superb. It took me a while to rinse that slickness off. And it's left a great poche feel. And that's what the new AJ1 formula is all about. As well as being, as well as being vegetal and glycerin free, it's got some wonderful prop properties. The neck, completely BBS, even though that wasn't in the comparison. The result, <laughs> that's always on these things. The result, completely the same on both sides. But I would say it was slightly nicer getting this result with the Rex. But uh, you've got to look at this wisely. 230 quid if you want the stand i think it's about an extra 45 quid 60 quid with the stand and i think it's 100 wilkinson saw blades so <laughs> there you have it it's uh it's all down to money it's all down to money which one am i gonna buy out of the two uh I might get them both. <laughs> I think I will. I am impressed with them both. I really am impressed with them both. But uh, I wouldn't take that Pearl Flexi down any load than that Play Free. I say because it did cause me problems. The settings I used on it were spot on today. And as was the Rex. But uh, as I say, that side cost 230 quid to shave. And that was like 60 quid to shave. And the result is the same. First pass was a little nicer with the Rex. The pearl was a bit rough. Well, not rough, sorry, I shouldn't say that word. It wasn't as smooth as the Rex, but it got there and the subsequent passes were phenomenal. They were just as smooth as the Rex. And I think around here, the pearl was even uh, better. So there you have it. I hope that's confused you even more if you're considering between the, the two razors. Okay, the splash, you see here on the thumbnail, good fella's smile. Now this has top notes of citrus, mandarin, lemon, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, it has mid notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, gardenia, and clary. I can't even read my own. Clary sage, I can't even read my own writing. Base notes woodsy, amber, sandalwood, musk, tonka bean, and vetiver. There's a lot going on in here, fellas. Let's get it on the kite. Get it on the kite. I'm gonna put more on. I'm getting it out. I can't work out which side was getting more of a sting there. Around here, I'm getting a little more of a sting. Neckwise, I'm getting more of a sting there, but that's where my uh, grain is complicated. But it was just a tingle. It's all gone now, and that scent. That sounds like something posh. It really does. It's 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 an awesome scent. It's amazing. It's a knicker dropper. I could go out with this, and the ladies would think I'd spent a lot of money on my on my uh, scent. It is. It's amazing. Okay, fellas. I hope that's been a benefit to uh, any of you guys who consider either of these two raises, or just out of interest. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't helped me none, but I know they're just as good as each other. Soap is great, also. Okay. You all stay safe now. Thanks for popping by. Stay safe. See you all further down the line, guys. Bye-bye now.